Women are affected by HIV AIDS more than people realize. Women are in hiding in, you know, in a way that I never anticipated. This epidemic is raging on, but it's off the radar in the media, and women are becoming increasingly infected, but we're not talking about it. And the stigma keeps us all yeah. hidden underground. And it's time for us to come forward and say, time out, folks, we have a disease. That's it. Women are not getting the support they need. They feel alone, totally isolated. I was by myself. <laughs> I didn't know who to call first, like, if I was going to tell anybody. The first thing that came into my head was, like, I have a death sentence over me. I'm going to die. I was so scared, like, my baby's going to have this. There is a devout lack of messages and education letting women know that they are contracting this disease at alarming rates. There's not enough presence in the media. It's not in the schools. It's not in the women's magazines. And it's not at home. I should have got educated about it, because you know what? I heard don't do drugs. I heard don't do alcohol. You know what? I never done it. I never heard don't get AIDS and how not to get it. You have to take your health in your own hands. You have to be proactive. You have to be your own advocate. I was counseling women every day who would say, oh, you know, I, you know, I, I don't practice safe sex all the time. And I said, well, is your husband with you 24 hours a day? The stigma these women face is horrific. Many are rejected by their closest friends and even families. You still get a paper club, a plate, a fork, and they throw it out, you get your own towel, and it gets thrown out, you get your own sheet, and it gets thrown out. HIV AIDS is a disease of the immune system. When people living with it are upset, it worsens. The more support the person has, the more strength they have to draw from. And I think that's really, really important to know that you're not in this alone, that somebody else understands what it is that you're going through. All of these women had one thing in common. They didn't think they could be affected by AIDS. They didn't think it could happen to them. I think what people don't know right now is that it can happen to them. They don't believe that. And I think it takes seeing someone who looks very much like you to think, you know what, I bet that actually could happen to me. And that's what's going to change behavior. It's having what they feel or what they think that they look like, or just kind of who they are, who they are in the world having that reflected back to them right. that this is a human thing.